Yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> It's intense, you know, it takes like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, it's seven layers of paint, so it's five different shades of green, and then one aubergine color, like for shading and contouring. And then finally, it's like a smattering of gold over the top to catch the light. It's, <laughs> yeah, I have a funny story. When we, when we <laughs> When we first did the green makeup, it, we had to do like a makeup test uh, for, for the network for ABC and Disney. And <clears throat> I was at the studio and I went to the toilet and I heard a woman in there, I didn't know who it was, ahead of me and she was washing her hands in the basement and I just had this idea just to mess with her, even though I didn't know who she was. So I'm completely in green. So I, I finished going to the loo and I kicked the door open and I just came walking straight towards her and she was washing her hands and she looked up and she's like, ah! <laughs> I nearly gave her a heart attack she, and it turns out she was a woman from the costume department mm -hmm. so for the rest of the time you know, we were shooting the season every time I would see her she's like you got me it was really funny <laughs> uh, I don't think that she's psycho I think she's more um I think most of the, the, the negative stuff that she does, or, you know, is, is coming from a place of pain mm -hmm. and all the stuff. You know, she's had a pretty crappy life, so she's been through a lot and been given up. And the alcoholic father who never felt wanted and was born with these powers and never know what to do with them. So I think it's all just coming from a place of wanting to be loved. And it's just she's sort of gone past this point of being reasonable. And, you know, that's why she's kind of acting out like a child, like bad behavior. I knew it was a huge hit <laughs> and um, I was very happy for Adam and Eddie because I worked with them on Lost mm -hmm. so I hadn't started watching it so when they offered me the part I went back on Netflix and I watched 53 episodes in two weeks mm -hmm. in preparation to go to Vancouver to shoot it. I can't act in front of the green screen because I'm green, so I would disappear. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, they had to use a blue screen, mm -hmm. otherwise they'd just be eyes and teeth. <laughs> yeah, I've done stuff with that before, but it's intense. It's really, I mean, the sound stages that we shoot on are huge. And after a while, you know, you don't see the daylight and it could be, you know, maybe you're working for 15, 16, 17 hours. When you're looking at blue, all day, it gets a bit, ooh, like you feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna faint, so I have to step outside and get back to reality and then step back inside again. It's really crazy. Anything's possible? I don't know that I would want to play anybody else on the show because everybody is doing such an amazing job, but I can say that my favorite characters personally as a fan of the show, I just love the villains. So the Evil Queen and Rumples. I mean, I love Rumpelstiltskin too. I just, I love to root for the bad guys on these shows, you know, they're just deliciously fun. I didn't know about her plan you know, I kind of like was learning about where they were going as we were filming it. So I was just kind of trying to stay present and stay in the moment. Oh my God. I mean, Lost was amazing. It was such an amazing cast. Working in Hawaii was amazing. Besides the fact that I got too many freckles. Um, I got a lot of freckles on that show. It was hard working in the sun, but it was fun. I mean, being on Lost was like going to college. It was like being in university. We would just play practical jokes on each other all the time, and we were just like just children being really silly. It was so much fun. That was an amazing show, you know. I'm glad I was a part of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that will live in infamy, that show, mm -hmm. you know. I think fantasy stuff is, is becoming more and more popular and I think maybe it's because it's just such a wonderful way to escape. I think, you know, so many people maybe are going through 
crap or living in a country where the economy is going in the toilet and mm. for one hour out of an evening you get to disappear into another world and I just think sometimes that's what entertainment really brings to people is a form of escape and just travel somewhere else for a minute like what if you can't afford to go somewhere you watch a show that takes you somewhere else you feel like you went somewhere that night and I think that's that's what entertainment should be I watch every single TV show. <laughs> Everything. I watch so much TV, it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I used to lie and say, oh, I read books all the time. I mean, yeah, I read a book, but I watch a lot of TV. Like, when you go to my DVR, it's like just series after series after series. I watch... I mean, I watch Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad and... I mean, I watch... Scandal. I mean, mm. I watch reality TV. There's not much I don't watch. Mm. It's easier to list what I don't watch than what I do watch. Yeah, I really want to be on Game of Thrones. That's mm. a big dream of mine. Also because it shoots in the UK, so I get to hang out with my family as well. <laughs> no, my dad's read the books. Mm -hmm. So I want to be on Game of Thrones because then my dad will be really happy. Okay. <laughs> I do, but I can't talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry.